Yo, yo, welcome to Smallmouth Crush. It's day one practice here, down here on Kentucky Lake in the FLW Costa Series. Everybody left. They rolled out bright and early. Although, uh, I was a little lethargic this morning. <sighs> Just cold, it's cold. So we're gonna go hit the, uh, hit the lake, see if we can find some fish today. Uh, we're gonna have practice videos as well as tournament coverage. That's all coming up. All right, so it is uh, cold, 32 degrees out. It's supposed to warm up into the 40s today. And then a gradual warm up throughout the week. Uh, it's Saturday, so we have Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday is off limits, and the tournament starts on Thursday. I've only been here for about a half a day, many years ago. Fished around by this bridge, and that was it. So I got my work cut out for me. We're just going to head out there and see what we can find. So I was pretty excited to get out on Kentucky Lake for the first first day of practice. Threw a lot of topwaters in the morning, went shallow. Went way back in a creek and ended up getting stuck. I don't have the videos for it, but the water was so low. Ended up getting stuck and had to deal with that first thing in the morning. And I pulled in this other pocket here and run into my second issue of the morning. Broke my prop on a trolling motor, so I got a spare. Ah. It's always something. I gotta go find a spare. A spare for the spare. So, I've been fishing for a couple hours and it's been tough. Um, I'm lost. I, I have areas I want to I want to hit, and I'm, I'm hoping that those places will pan out. But I, I just want to try some different stuff and go back in some creeks and look for fish. And it's just it's foreign right now, guys. Very foreign. Yo! Oh man. So, I don't think there was any fish catches today. I caught four little ones. Four little guys. Um, it's going to be a real uh, difficult tournament. I don't know. I don't know if guys caught them or not. I'm the first one back for some odd reason. Well, so Steve, Steve had some obligations today so he couldn't fish um so he dropped me off i let him use the car and he said pick me up at five is the thing bent sure is dude oh man what the frick well it still works anyways all right so 
So I said pick them up at five with my, I forgot to change the time on my Lawrence. So it's still red. So when I thought it was five, it was actually four. So I, I start rigging up just waiting for him to come pick me up. And next thing I know, I'm like, what time is it? I look at my phone, it's 416. So I call him, I'm like, dude, come get me, I'm done. Bring me back. Uh, man, it was just brutal out there, windy. Uh, gosh, I don't know. Tomorrow's a new day, we'll go figure it out. We'll see how the other guys did when they come back. What's up, Steve? What up, what up? What's going on? What'd you do all day, man? Today I had shit to do. I had oh. things to do today. Okay. Yep, and you fished and uh... And you made some dinner. I made a beautiful dinner. So what do you call that? That's a nice gravy. Gravy. <laughs> yeah, Italian gravy. So he made some gravy. I've never heard that term in my life except for gravy and mashed potatoes. Well, this is an Italian thing. I've never heard of it, dude. Hey, what are you going to do? Dude, I had a rough day, man. I know you did. Now you can relax. Relax, just relax today. You had a tough day. You killed him today. You exhausted from catching so many. Yeah. 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 I miss my flip flops. I got mine on. I want mine all day today. I bet. Hey, hey, day two of this practice. We're at a little different launch, a little further south. Um, maybe we'll get some footage today, actually. We'll find out. Let's get out there. So today I'm heading out more on the main lake. Gonna fish some of these uh, shallow bars. I'm chucking the A-Rig. And of course I had issues throwing the A-Rig today as well. And some stuck crank baits. You know, the day's starting off really well. I'm actually cranking pretty fast, so that's a low gear ratio reel. And I was using a DT10. One of my favorite crankbaits, especially in the fall. Hooked up with a legal fish. Man. So maybe there's some life. I'm just just off the main river right now. I don't know. I don't even know if he goes 15. He does. I then start throwing some top waters on this shallow bar and end up catching couple good fish off of it in fact I caught a real good one here um, every time I stopped there's always a good fish so this is gonna be a, a place I'm gonna hit during the during the tournament for sure This is the second one. You guys didn't catch it. I caught another good one on a spook. Um, I might be on to something. I'm not gonna get excited. I'm not excited. But this is my fourth fish today. Okay, I found another one. Not bad, not bad, I mean. He was on the old drop shot. That's kind of what I do. I have five for about 13 today. <sighs> Getting there. I really don't know. I'm not sure. The weights have been down weeks past. Um, if I could do what I did today, I believe it or not, I'd be happy with 13, 14, 15. I really would. <sighs> Maybe get a big one. Got me another one. Two and a half. I'm feeling yeah, yeah. slightly better. Slightly. At least I know I know I'll be able to get a limit. Might only be 12 pounds, but I think I can definitely get a decent limit here. So decent day, I think I'm on to something. I'm gonna have to hit her hard in the morning. What's happening? 
Okay, so obviously there wasn't a lot of footage. I don't know why I said obviously. Why did you say obviously? I don't know. I mean, there just ain't a lot of footage, guys. Footage? What are you going to do? My, uh... My power source in the boat isn't working. I have a power pack. I got a lot of spare batteries, but sometimes you just don't have time to do that. Oh, another beautiful cold morning on Kentucky Lake. First morning out for me. Uh, we have one more full day of practice. It's Monday. We got Cole Angler Steve with us today. Good morning, guys. How you doing? Oh. And we're going to see if we can expand on what I have going on. So yesterday was a couple fish on top and some drop shot fish. Let's go. Crankbait fish. I got an area that's holding fish that's all relatively close by, so we're just going to try to expand on that. I'm going to fish a lot of uh, man-made structure today with, with the drop shot here in the morning and just see if those fish are holding on that kind of stuff. And uh, then we'll try to expand on that. And hopefully the bite stays tough. This cooling temperature could be turning these fish on, um, which I don't like. Because, I mean, I had a solid 14. If I can, if the bite stays the way it is, that's going to be a decent bag. Um, and you just have to hopefully get a good bite or two. But if the bite turns on, we're going to get smoked with that weight. Let's go find out how it goes today. I feel better. I feel better than I did on day one. I still need to get, I'm trying to look for a really good topwater bite and, you know, I just can't seem to get that going. But I think right now if I was to do it, I would go for those drop shot fish, try to get a decent limit, and then throw a topwater the rest of the day on some of these shallow bars. So I hit some obvious stuff drop shot and uh, the pattern yesterday, I did find some fish on the ledges and I was drop shotting to them uh, with just a finesse worm and started getting on some good fish. And I went back to that area today and ended up getting a few more good fish. So it kind of helped solidify the spot in my head. So I'm feeling pretty good. I don't know what Steve's doing there. All right, midday update. Midday update with Steve. What are you doing? What's up? Trying to catch a few fish here. Doesn't look like it. No, it um, it was tough, was it not? Yeah. But I think we found a few. Yeah. You can't complain. Now I, I kind of confirmed what I had going, and so that's pretty much all we're going to be able to do. We'll see. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to get out of here, I'm gonna get out of here dude. Come on. Come on. I can't. It's stuck. Steve, it's stuck. Steve, it's stuck. What are you going to do? Listen to me. <laughs> You want, you don't, I want, you don't want that. none of that. You don't want none of that. It was kind of funny. No, like, what you were you doing the whole time? You didn't know. Who's this thing doing to you that? Come on. Dude, is that right? I'm trying to do it or not? Now, let's get serious. Oh, Steve caught a good one. Steve caught a good one. That's pretty good, right? Yeah, sure. Right? What is he, three and a half? I think he's a, he's a skinny, he's an emaciated son of a bitch, ain't he? Look at him. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Okay, we just made her back. We got on some fish again today. You caught a good one. Caught a good one. You lost your sunglasses? Lost my sunglasses. Caught a good one. Question of the day. Yes. What's for dinner? What's Steve cooking tonight? Leftovers. Come on, I'm man. out here, dude. Sorry, couldn't cook today. Unreal. Leftovers. Unreal. Either that or we can have some organic hips. Last final day of practice, full day. We got big old Steve with us. What's up? We're getting ready to go catch some fish today. That's my southern boys. Your southern boys, that's pretty yeah. good. You don't know my southern boys. Steve struggles with life, I've noticed. For me? Yeah. I don't struggle. You struggle with life, I'm dude. I'm not going to swear or nothing today. You struggle with life. I don't struggle with life. He struggles. Life struggles with me. 
Life struggles with you. Okay. Yeah. All right, we're going to go catch some fish. I'm going to try to record all our whopping three fish catches that we may have today. No, we're sitting good, man. Uh, last week's tournament, we just found out the results. 23 pounds won, two days. Granted, they were from Illinois and Indiana. It was like some type of championship. They're out of towners, but still, brutal conditions. Not really, the fish just aren't doing what they should be doing. Maybe they are. You want a fish? Yes, you do. I thought you were caught at first. That's a good one? I don't know. Not bad. Does he keep them? Uh, I don't think he is. I don't think he is. So Steve actually catches a real good smallie. This is near that topwater spot that I had. I was hoping he wasn't going to cast into that zone, but I didn't tell him not to, so he hooked one of my fish. It's all good though, Steve. Don't worry about it. Thought it'd be a good idea to put this crappie in his hoodie while he was turned his back towards me. You threw a crappie at me? Huh? You crappie at me. Uh -huh. Really? Then they, if I pick him up, he's gonna hit you in the head. Come here, you fucker. You know what I do to people like this? What? Right the fuck with the little crappies. Is that what you want? Put it away. Is that, is that, is that, is that how it's gonna be? Get off the deck. Why well, get off the deck? We're not in the tournament. What does it matter? Get off the deck. Get off the face. Get off the face. Those guys like to give and not take, huh? Whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think by this point we were getting on each other's nerves, maybe. I don't know. So we spent some more time out on some ledges. I hook up with a decent fish here. Yeah, I'd take them. So this was a decent pattern that I had going, but I really need current. And the only way I can seem to catch these fish is by drop shotting. We are done with practice. So we're going to head in pretty soon. Yep. I don't know, 13 pounds today. What does that do? Who knows? Who knows what it does? So per FLW rules, Wednesday's off limits. So it's actually kind of nice. I was able to get everything organized, get all the baits ready to go, all the tackle prep, had some time to go and take the boat to the service yard, just make sure everything's ready to go, and I'm well rested and ready for the next day. All right, so today was our off day. We got all of our tackle ready. Um, came to the service yard just to get some minor repairs done. Those guys hooked me up again. Um, I think we're ready to go. I'm going to head back, uh, get ready for the meeting, and then we'll talk to everybody back at the house. And um, it's as good as it's going to get for me. It's all up to the fish now. You ready, boss? Ready all right, let's go. All right, so we're back at the house, and we're just getting all set up. Everyone's getting rigged up and ready to go. Kind of did a number here on the yard, though. I mean, it's all these big trucks. Everybody with these big trucks coming rolling through here. The Jeep Grand Cherokee doesn't do that. It's stock. It gets groceries. The grocery go-getter. All right, so you guys haven't met who we're staying with yet. And now's the time. 
So let me make, let me, let me break this down for you. I'm staying with five dudes, Steve the co-angler, of course. The four other dudes, three other dudes I'm staying with, one, two, three, including myself, are qualifiers for the FLW Tour. Is that correct? That's right. We have two Costa winners as well as a where am I going with this? Cut. Yeah, we'll cut that. <laughs> um, God damn. How can you talk up Chris is what you're saying. I know, that's what I was trying to figure out here. <laughs> Two time back to back Bass Nation Angler of the Year. Oh. Qualified for the tour too. And yeah. Yeah, we already went through that. And we got a two time Bash Na Bass Nation qualifier Chris, but I don't know what that Angler. means. Angler, hey, Angler of the Year. I'm not sure about this Bass Nation. I think it's like a club thing, ain't it? Where he fishes out of the back of the boat. It's like I'm guys. just kidding. Cranial <laughs> rectal <laughs> 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 There's like nine boats. Yeah, yeah. Nine, nine boats. So a lot of guys are doing the A-rig thing. Casey's got it figured out. Dialed. Dialed in. All standard stuff. Whopper ploppers. Rods ready to go. We don't know what Chris is throwing. I guess chigger cross, apparently. Oh. Uh. Straight chigger cross. Yeah. Yeah. He did catch a nine pounder this week though. He did. He did catch a fish. <laughs> um. It's more than I got. Yeah. Yeah. What are you on? I'm on uh, nothing. Alright, so Matt, you won the uh Coast event this year on Thousand Islands? That I did. Um, all right, so we're going to continue to rig up. It's raining out. We're going to get to the meeting, get our Costa glasses fixed, get something to eat, and then uh, come back and listen to Steve snore. Do battle in the morning. Off crush day one at FLW Coast here on Kentucky Lake. We had such a fun time in practice. Ren the Casey, he's boat number one. I'm boat 13, doing at 3.30. Our goal is five fish, right? I, I bet he has 20 pounds today. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be very interesting. So I left one of the cameras at home, I think. I can't find it. We're going to try to roll as long as we can with this one. Um, you're going to see some epic fish catches quick and often, guaranteed. Let's get out there. All right, guys, so we're just getting ready here. Um, we got Conrad in the boat today. All the way from California, right? Arizona. Arizona. Almost as far. Same thing, ain't it? Yeah. West Coast. West Coast. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting. Um, looking forward to it. Hopefully everyone I'm staying with is going to do well. Because I want to have fun tonight back at the house. <laughs> you know? I don't want to be all bummed out. But it's anyone's game. All it takes is... Uh, oh, look at that lucky bait on the front deck. Dang! I gotta keep my mouth shut during practice. These guys are gonna figure it out. FLW Costa champion from Thousand Islands, right? Yes. Man, we got a, we got some studs here. What are we gonna do here? We're going to Lambert starting home. That's what I figured. Now you practice with him all week, right? Yeah. He's nervous. He's nervous. So we're off and running here. Uh, this is early morning, about a half hour into it. I was able to get a decent limit. All right, guys, mid-morning update. Got me a limit. Drop shot, of course. I'm sitting at about 13 pounds. Uh, I'm gonna leave here and try to find some bigger fish. Hey guys, so we just got back. I apologize, we don't have a lot of footage. Um, I was really focused on fishing. We didn't get the camera set up too well. When I left you guys last, I had a limit and I was able to upgrade three times with three solid fish. And um, unfortunately, you got one. One little guy. One little guy. Let's see what happens. But you were an awesome netter. <laughs> I think we'll be in the top 20, right where we need to be for tomorrow. So let me go get weighed up. We're gonna have to go to the boat shop here and get some repair work done, I, I'm afraid. I barely limped in. I'm actually, we're about four minutes early here. 
first flight. I might be leading this thing. Got two little guys, but I'll take them. Skinny and this guy, but awesome. All right, so I had a broken bolt on the old motor, snapped right in half. I was making a lot of noise this morning. Currently in third right now, but the weigh is not done yet. All right, pretty dull night, guys. 8.30, everyone's in bed. Yeah. <sighs> I didn't sleep much last night. No, this. this guy over there. We're just watching, he's watching some football. So all of us have a shot at making some money tomorrow. Except, Except for, for you. Steve zero today. Yeah, yeah. It's a coal angler. It's all good. Oh, it's raining out. Rain. Thunder. Downpours. Started about 4 a.m. It's about 5.30 right now. It hasn't stopped. That doesn't get us motivated. place is trashed again. Everyone's kind of laying low. Oh, you are away. I'm a little late. Yeah, it's, uh, we're not motivated this morning. You know, when you catch seven to 15, 14 lousy pounds of bass, What's the point? So I'm going to make this real short and sweet. I lost audio. I didn't get any videos of fish catches. Heck, I only caught three fish today. Major, major disappointment for me. Top six, I believe, went to the forest. Wood cup. How awesome would that have been? You don't get a lot of opportunities to capitalize on this. I was sitting in 11th place right now, and I catch a lousy three fish. Zero current today. That's what happened. There was zero current on my spot. I thought, I got a long day. I'm going to put them in the boat. Well, I'm bagging up my three little fish. Going to go weigh them in. I don't make it. I fall short. I needed just two more fish to fish the next day. Top 10 fish the next day. Finished in, I believe, 26th place. Got a decent check. But that's not why we came down to Kentucky Lake. I wanted to close out the deal here. Steve's just complained in here. He only caught one fish today. He's sick of those Alabama rigs, he says. You know, it was a great time. I had a really good time hanging out with the guys. Chris O'Brien, Casey Smith, Matt Becker, those guys. It was awesome. It was fun hanging out with them for the week. Even though we had to deal with Steve. And Steve isn't that bad. I know I gave him a hard time. He's a cool dude. I'm sure you'll see plenty more of Steve in the future. This is where the post-tournament blues starts to set, and this is the last major tournament for me of the year. So we're going to be heading up north, probably catching a few smallmouth. We'll be fishing the Chesapeake Bay year-round, all winter long. We've got plenty of guide trips. I do have some dates available this winter, especially on the Chesapeake Bay. We'll be fishing there December, January, February. Then we'll hit her up again. Next year's Costa schedule, BFL, all looks great. Looking forward to it. Until next time, we'll see you guys on the water.